everyone. Welcome to the virtual college exploration for all Missouri students sponsored by the Missouri Association for College Admission Counseling and StriveScan. Thanks again so much for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many se different session opportunities happening, so please be sure to check out the full schedule at moacac.org. This presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at that same website, which again is moacac.org. I would like to go ahead and uh, turn it over to our presenters. Thanks so much. Yeah, thanks Katie. Hey everyone, my name is Michael Casanza. I'm the admissions counselor for Missouri for Loyola University. Um, and with me today is my colleague Gloria, who is our recruitment coordinator for the College of Music and Media. Say hi, Glow. Hi everyone, happy to be here. Yeah, so uh, real quick, I'm going to try and share my screen, um, which I am having trouble doing. Oh, here it is. OK. Awesome. Are we seeing this? Gloria, is this working? <laughs> I don't see it yet. I'm still waiting, but I know it's gonna. Sh I know it's gonna be there. So, guys, while Michael is working on that, up, oh, we almost got it. It's happening. Remember to um, type in any questions that you have into the Q and A box at the bottom. Um, for most of these questions, we'll address them at the end of the presentation. Um, but we'll try and check in here and there throughout the throughout the show. Awesome. All right, everybody. So, um, hey, just a little bit about Loyola New Orleans. So we're we are a private liberal arts Jesuit university. Um, that Jesuit part of it uh, is really unique. We're one of 27 Jesuit colleges um, around the country. We're the only one in the New Orleans area. So quick facts about us, we're about 3,200 students. Um, those students are coming from all over the place. So we're about 60% out of state, 5% international students, and then about 54% students of color. Uh, so we really love the uh, diversity on our campus, the community of students on our campus. Uh, we say that we're a very welcoming campus. Um, just like the city of New Orleans, we're a gumbo pot. Um, so, Couple quick facts there, just a little bit about where we are in the city. We're in the Uptown Garden District area, a very old historical neighborhood. Um, if anyone's ever visited, that's visited before, you know, it's right across the street from Audubon Park, Audubon Zoo. We have a streetcar right in front of our university. Um, and so we definitely have a great connection with the city. Uh, we are right in the middle of it. Everything is very accessible. It's about 15, 20 minutes to anything. Now, New Orleans is a unique city, um, and hopefully you've gotten a chance to experience it. If you do ever come visit, uh, my one advice would be just to eat yourself, eat your way through the city, um, eat as much as you can, because that's really the, the big thing here, um, as well as a great music scene. Um, we've got a bunch of different areas that you can go, part, uh, go visit, uh, but really, New Orleans is just a great, fun city. Uh, we've always got something going on on the weekends, whether it's a food festival, music festival, um, or you know, shopping or something local that you want to do. We count our time in seasons as well. We have Mardi Gras season, football season, crawfish season, um, and so on and so forth. So it's definitely a fun time, and it's, it's not hard to convince you to come down to visit. So check us out. Now I talked about we are a Jesuit university and just to talk about what that means. So the Jesuits are a, a Catholic faith-based organization. Uh, we're founded a long time ago by St. Ignatius Loyola, thus the name Loyola University. We are related to the other Loyolas out there in the country in the sense that we're all founded by the same people, but we're separate universities. So I get that question a lot about what, what's the difference. So. Um, same founders, different universities, but Jesuits really believe um, in being men and women with and for others. And so what our Jesuit identity focuses on is uh, social justice, community service, 
um, but really giving students not just the academic information, but giving them a well-rounded focus on um, being, now that you've got these talents, what are you gonna use, how are you gonna use those talents to affect the community? And so um, you don't have to be Catholic or, or religious to come to Loyola. Um, we are open to all faiths. Uh, there's no mass requirement, no Catholic religion class requirement, but we do have things like psychology requirement and a um, religious studies requirement. So anything like that. So uh, Jesuit men and women with and for others. Now, academically, Loyola is broken up into three colleges. We have the College of Arts and Sciences, the College of Business, and the College of Music and Media. Um, just some quick fun facts, you know, Loyola's most popular majors, um, and Gloria will touch on a few of these. Um, anything music, theater, digital arts, if you're a creative student, if you're, you're working in any of those creative mediums, that's really a crown jewel here at Loyola. We love those majors here, um, as well as um, our management major in business and our pre-health and pre-law majors in the College of Arts and Sciences. Uh, but we can do a lot of these well, and we have some themes that run across all of these colleges. The first being that our classes are small. We're about 20 students in a class. It doesn't get any larger than 30, 35. Uh, we have a 12 to one student faculty ratio. So professors really get to know you. They know who you are. They know what you're trying to do. They're there to help. We're not the kind of people who the professors clock in, clock out. Um, if, if you need to visit a professor, if you need to see them at outside of office hours, they're there to help you. Um, as well, um, we have a discussional based classes. So it's not where the professor just gets in there and starts lecturing. We like discussional based classes. We like to get interactive too, especially some of those music majors or science majors. We really like you to get some hands on experience, whether that's in the classroom or off campus and in internships. Um, we have a uh, what we call the Loyola core, which is the liberal arts curriculum here at Loyola. So about a third of all majors are math, science, history, elective classes. Um, going back to that Jesuit philosophy, we really believe in, you know, we wanna get you the academic knowledge in your major, but we also wanna make you a well-rounded person. And so that's why these classes are here. Um, it also gives students an opportunity if you want to double major or major and minor, this is the opportunity to kind of do that. So talking about, uh, we're gonna break down a couple of different colleges. Um, so the College of Arts and Sciences has all of our humanities, our sciences, um, a lot of the interesting ones that we have, like teacher, teacher certification, uh, education classes, and things like that. Um, again, the hallmark here is that our we really do focus on internships and practical experience here. For instance, our English students, they are not just learning about English, but they're actually writing. Those students get um, some cool, really good hands-on experience working with professors who are currently writing books, doing research, um, and things like that. So they learn the whole process. Our sciences, we have labs on campus. We have uh, teachers, professors that are focusing on specific research, and our students get to tag along with that as well. Our College of Business, I am a grad of our College of Business um, in our MBA program. Um, the great thing about College of Business is, you know, you're going to learn everything you need to know about your major, but then alongside that we have the Portfolio Program, which teaches students how to build a resume, do interview skills, um, how to find those internships and secure those internships. And so um, along with your academic program, you will be doing this Portfolio Program, you'll have a faculty mentor who will help you through those things. Um, and so it's, it's a really good um, kind of getting the, uh, the business skills that you don't learn in a classroom with that. And then we do have a, a, a four plus one program with our MBA program. So if you do four years of undergrad, then you can go straight into that one year of grad school and have a two degrees in five years. And then here I'll turn it over to my colleague, Gloria, and she'll go ahead and tell you about College of Music and Media. All right, thank you, Michael. Um, I'm excited to talk to you about, um, so Loyola is also my alma mater, and I graduated from the College of Music and Media with an opera vocal performance degree. And no, I will not be singing for you today, so forget it. Um, all right, but I do, if, if any of you are in here and seniors and looking to apply this year, um, you will hear from me if you haven't already heard from me. 
I want to talk to you. I want to meet with you, um, even if that's virtually. So I hope you will connect. Um, but for now, here we go. Let's talk about slides. Um, the College of Music and Media is, uh, as Michael mentioned, it's our crown jewel at Loyola New Orleans. It is divided into three really cool schools to help you understand where you live, which school you live in per the major you are applying to. Um, our student to faculty ratio is a little bit smaller in the College of Music and Media, which we're really proud of. So that eight to one um, is great. Let's move on. Next slide. So first we'll talk about the School of Music and Theater Arts. Um, this school houses our classical and jazz musicians. So the opera majors, the, you know, Bill Evans, the uh, music therapy, music education, all of those classical and jazz um, focused degrees, our Bachelor of Music degrees. And then it also houses our theater arts and dance department. So all of my thespians, musical theater, theater arts, and we also offer a very cool degree in theater arts with a minor in business. So for those of you entrepreneurs or students who want to um, work in theater companies, we have the degree that can set you up to um, get that job right out of school, um, working in those big, wonderful cities that you may or may not want to live in. Um, cool, next slide. The, we want to tell you about the places and perks for each of these schools. Um, so check out some of the photos over here on the slideshow. You'll see our pit orchestra playing for what I'm pretty positive was a ballet recital that we had several years ago. And some of my friends are actually sitting in there, which is really cool. Um, so this is our orchestra, um, our classical orchestra playing in the pit there for the ballet performance. We have an incredible makeup studio in our theater arts department. Um, and then you can check out, you can see on the slide here some of the other really cool places that we have. Our costume studio is just amazing, phenomenal. Go online, look at those photos. Um, we have a dye area where you can dye clothing indoors. It's got the best view in the entire university. Um, so you got to check it out. And then performance opportunities for my School of Music and Theater Arts majors are really important. The, the list here that you're looking at, this is who we're connected to in the city. The Tennessee Williams Theater Company, the New Orleans Opera Association, um, the Philharmonic Orchestra, many more. You know, New Orleans, we, we have a lot. <sighs> Next slide. All right, the School of Music Industry. This is the most happening. This is the degree that a lot of you are probably interested in if you're interested in the College of Music and Media. Our newest urban and electronic music degree lives here. Our popular and commercial music singer-songwriter degree lives here. And then two of our music industry studies degrees, the Bachelor of Art and the Bachelor of Science live here. What you need to know about this school is first of all that GEZ graduated from it. Okay, I just have to say that. But um, second of all, if you want to be an audio engineer, if you want to be a producer, a tour manager, the next Phoebe Bridgers, um, it, this is where you will be. If you want to learn Pro Tools, if you already know Pro Tools and you want to be certified, this is where you come and study. Um, we have internship requirements in this school. We have a weekly forum where you're connecting and networking with artists and guests um, in the music industry. It's just amazing. Do your research and then follow up with me for more information. Next slide. School of Communication and Design. I also love this school. I just, I love them all. I love, I, I love all these schools. Um, the School of Communication and Design, when you think about it, this is about storytelling, okay? These are all of those degrees. Graphic design, motion design, digital filmmaking, studio art, and mass communication. All of these degrees have in common the art and creativity of storytelling. 
Um, so, you know, these days, journalism, that, that's a scary major. You think, you think journalism might be a scary major these days, but at Loyola New Orleans, within the College of Music and Media and the School of Communication and Design, you're going to learn to express yourself creatively, um, but also with that social justice background at heart. Um, and then you're going to be taught by incredible leading professionals in the journalism world. That's just one example. Um, let's check out the next slide for, I think, well, we can stay on this slide, but um, the last thing that I wanted to tell you about the School of Communication and Design is that the facilities in that school are, again, phenomenal. Our art studios are inspiring. Our broadcast studio is state of the art. Later this year, I'm going to get to go in there and um, do a fun little uh, recording for some of our admitted students, but um, green screens, a full table, a big broadcasting studio with all those monitors that you saw on the slide before. It's just incredible. You're working with the equipment that professionals are working with right now so that when you leave Loyola, you know how to use the equipment that, that they're using in the real world. This, um, this slide here, that's my email address. Write it down. Like I said, please reach out to me. Um, on the le or, or on the other side of the slide is um, just an overview of the different requirements that we have for specific majors. Because the College of Music and Media is made up of, I think we're at 25 majors now, there are different requirements for each kind of degree that you're going for. Portfolios, for music industry studies and art and design, interviews for filmmaking and urban and electronic music production, pre-recorded video auditions for my classical and jazz students and theater arts students. And then we have one Zoom audition option for my singer songwriter popular and commercial music majors. It's a lot, take your time and please reach out to me or Michael anytime any day um, if you have questions about this. We're really excited to help you. Awesome. So all of that adds into the value of a Loyola education. Um, and oop, went back. And what I was saying before, um, a lot of our students get uh, experience. So at least 70% of our students do at least one internship. I know a lot of those students are doing two or three um, because it's just so available for our students. Um, now, 87% of our graduates have a, have a job within six months of graduating. Um, it just goes back to we, we want you prepared, we want to give you experience before you leave Loyola. Now, that's all the academic stuff. Let's talk about the fun stuff at Loyola too, okay? Academics can be fun, but we have over 100 uh, student organizations. Um, I like to define our student body as proactive. They want to get involved in their major. They want to get involved on campus and they wanna get involved in the Save New Orleans. Here are some of our on-campus opportunities. We have student government, business, honors, uh, salsa dancing, robotics. We've got uh, a lot of community service oriented things like Iggy's Cupboard where we donate food and, and give it to, to students that are in need on campus. We have a lot of students helping with hurricane relief, um, helping with the local homeless population, a lot of social justice issues that are going on. Um, and so our students really do uh, come on campus feel welcomed and jump right in. Residential life, uh, a lot of students ask about this. 54% of our students live on campus. Uh, freshmen and sophomores must live on campus their first two years. Now for freshmen, we have traditional style living, which is two people share a room and then a whole hallway shares a bathroom. And then um, sophomores and up, we have apartment style living and suite style living, which is two people in two rooms and two rooms sharing a, a bathroom. Um, we do have living learning communities as well, like honors and uh, service oriented, leadership oriented communities that they also have sweet style living as well. Fun fact, you can bring your car as a freshman. So if y'all wanna make that drive uh, for Missouri, it's doable. Now at Loyola, you're not gonna go hungry. We have great campus dining and that's because the city of New Orleans has great food as well. Every Monday is red beans and rice. Every Friday is catfish Friday. Um, and then uh, you have other options on campus as well. 
Now, when you eat all that food, you got to go work it off somewhere. So I suggest going to the sports complex, indoor swimming pool, track, weight rooms. Uh, we also have fitness classes in intramurals. So intramurals. So everything you need to stay fit and healthy. And then we also have a lot of resources for our students. So one of the thing I think Loyola is, excels at is making sure our students feel comfortable and welcome and have everything they need to succeed. So our Student Success Center um, really focuses on a lot of our retention. Um, there's a retention rate right there that's from freshman to sophomore year. Uh, we have things like success coaching, helping students transition from high school to college, uh, career services, academic advisors, um, tutoring services, writing labs. Um, we also have, um, in later slides, we'll talk about counseling and health services. All of these different uh, resources to make sure that you feel welcome on campus, that you're excelling in your classes, and that um, you know, if you need help, we can get it for you. Now, this is a one-stop shop in our, um, at our library on the second floor. But we also, if you're not doing well in a class, the first thing you should do is talk to a professor. They're often going to reach out to you first, um, but they really want to see you succeed. Uh, but these are just some other opportunities you have. Now, if there's any athletes out here, we are part of the NAIA Division I. Um, here's all of our Division I sports as well as some of our intramural sports. You will see intramural quidditch. That is a wacky one that we do. Um, but if you're an athlete and you want to take part of our loyal athletics, I recommend that you go um, type in on Google search, you know, basketball, Loyal University of New Orleans basketball. That will pull you up to our main athletics page. Feel free to contact the coaches, fill out a recruit me form. Um, but yes, it's very doable to, to come here for athletics and we do give athletic scholarships. All right, study abroad, another commonly asked question. Um, about a third of our students study abroad. Great opportunity here at Loyola, especially since we have that Loyola core liberal arts curriculum that allows students to go uh, visit another country. There's many different programs, many different opportunities to uh, afford it and pay for it, scholarship opportunities. Um, so this is very doable here at Loyola. All right, let's talk about application and scholarships and break that down a little bit, okay? So this year, um, and, and potentially for the future years, Loyola is gonna be test blind. Um, now, you might have heard of things like test optional, which is you, you can submit your scores if you would want to. For test blind admissions, we are not looking at the ACT or SAT for admissions. So you can submit to us, but we still won't look at it. Um, instead, what we're looking at is your weighted GPA. So if you take honors courses, if you take AP courses or dual enrollment, that is going to carry more weight for us here at Loyola. Um, we're going to look at that based on your transcript. The average is a 3.5 GPA, but we're a holistic review process, meaning I'm your, I'm your admissions counselor. I'll be the one reading your applications. I'll read everything on that application and make a decision based on that, okay? So here we have some deadlines. Um, today, today is October 1st, FAFSA is online. So if you want to go ahead and fill that out, go ahead, do it, send it to us. That's great. These other deadlines here, um, are important to keep note of, but really understand that we're rolling admissions, which means as you apply, we're going to read it and send it back to you within two weeks. Okay, so I'm reading applications now. That process is going, so you should hear back from us pretty quickly. Okay, um, just to go over what the application looks like, we're on the common application. We also have the loyal application, and we're a free application. They said application a lot of times, but we're free. Um, and then what we need with it as your high school transcript a letter of recommendation from anyone, teacher, coach, guidance counselor, we only need one. And then um, as part of your application, you'll have the essay and resume just telling us what you do at high school. Michael. Yes. Can I interject? Yes, go ahead. I got to tell these guys that February 15th, the priority decision deadline is also the deadline for the College of Music and Media application stuff. So we want your auditions by then, we want your portfolios by then, we want all the things. Um, so remember that February 15th. Thank you, Gloria. All right, just gonna break down the costs here. Don't let these numbers scare you, okay? But what we do is when we talk about Loyola, we talk about tuition, fees, room and board, and a meal plan, okay? 
And when we put all those costs together for a year, it's about 55,500, okay? Now, don't let the number scare you because 90% of our students receive scholarships and financial aid. The first thing we'll do is that when you apply to Loyola, you automatically apply to all of our scholarships, okay? We give out merit-based scholarships based on that weighted GPA. Those merit-based scholarships actually range from $14,000 to $23,000, okay? As well, Missouri gets a state scholarship. So we're giving $3,000 from all, for all of our applicants from the Missouri uh, state, state of Missouri. Um, and so right, then, right there, you've got two scholarship opportunities. As well, we have Ignatian scholarship for our top uh, students, our, our top full ride scholarship. If you earn um, above a 3.8 GPA, um, you are eligible to apply for that. That is a separate application and you'll know more about that when you apply to Loyola. Um, it's going to be in your portal. The social justice scholarship is for, it's for uh, students majoring in sociology or, uh, or a minor in sociology, but it's really focused on, uh, you know, what, are you, what would you like to do in the community? What would you like to learn? It's a really great program about learning about social justice issues in New Orleans area and in, in the community in general. So that's a great opportunity for that program. The Ensemble Award, Gloria, you want to talk about the Ensemble Award a little bit? So the, absolutely. The Ensemble Award is offered to non-music majors. Um, you do need to apply for this award. Um, it's for non-music majors who have played classical or jazz instruments throughout high school and just don't necessarily want to major in music in college, but they love music and want to keep playing um, as kind of extracurricular in our ensembles. It's a $3,000 scholarship and it's stackable on top of all your others. So it's really cool and check it out on the web. Yep. So all these are our merit-based scholarships. And in addition to that, if you fill out the FAFSA, you're open to Loyola grants, additional scholarships, um, additional need-based scholarships and loans. All of this together, um, on average, a student per year will pay about $15,000 for all of that. And that's an average, so it could be less, could be more. But in general, if you just submit your application and submit the FAFSA to us, we can give you a financial aid package with a full cost breakdown of here's all the scholarships, here's all the costs, and this is how much you'll pay if you come to Loyola. Um, and so uh, I'd love to talk about that more. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the chat. We're, almost, uh, we're, we're wrapping up here. So this is my information. Like I said, I'm your admissions counselor. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email, give me a call um, as well. So I'll, let, I'll give you a second if you want to take a screenshot, take a look at that. Um, this is my information. And then here's Gloria's information if you would like that as well. What I'll do right now is I'll open it up uh, for questions um, and answers. So if you have a question, go ahead and type it out right here. And I think we'll give it about a minute or two. If we don't have any questions in a minute or two, we'll go ahead and wrap it up. Um, Gloria, any last minute advice to our students here in the presentation? What would you tell them if, um, for applying to Loyola, but all colleges in general? Yeah, I think the number one advice is never assume that one university is the same as enough uh, as another um, from, you know, music and media application requirements to even, you know, university high school requirements. Um, do do your research to figure out each school, lay it out in a, you know, on a whiteboard or whatever. Um, and yeah. I uh, stay in touch with your admissions counselors too, guys. We're we're here to help you. We we are your voice um, throughout this process. So connect with us. Great. I just got a question. Um, can you can we visit the university? Actually, yes. I meant to touch on this. Loyola is open for campus tours. Um, if you are up to traveling and you feel safe and comfortable doing that, in no way am I saying that you need to travel, but if you feel safe doing that, we are open on campus for tours. So uh, go to our website, and on our website, you should see the link to, to schedule a tour. Uh, come on down, uh, and if you do want to come for a tour and you want to kind of make a weekend out of it, 
send me an email. I've got my list of recommendations of places to go eat, things to go do in the city of New Orleans. So give you a little, uh, a local uh, person's perspective on that. But yes, we are open for campus tours. Good question. All right. Any other questions, y'all? I'll tell you my advice for uh, applying to colleges. Um, so my, my usual advice is visit all the campuses, visit the campuses you wanna go see. I understand that that's not very doable right now in this environment, uh, but I do think you need to get a good sense of each university that you're applying for. So I know virtual tours, they're not the same. Do them anyways, check them out, look at social media, look at YouTube videos, um, maybe talk with a few, um, your, talk with your admissions counselors, definitely talk with a few students, but you really want to get a sense of the university and get a sense of the community um, at the schools that you're applying for. Um, but that, yeah, that's just my advice. Looks like we don't have any other questions. So I'll, I'll say it again. Oh, wait, one just came in. What are the costs for studying abroad? So uh, studying abroad has its own cost. There are some things that, there are some opportunities where you can pay your tuition at Loyola and then you can study and, and then that's how much you pay for study abroad. There's some where you pay your tuition for the school you're going to and study abroad. Many different programs, many different opportunities, many different scholarship opportunities. So it's really just depends on when you come to Loyola, go ahead and talk with our study abroad, study abroad advisor and they'll set you up with a program that works with um, what you're willing to pay. So good question. Um, and then, oh, you're welcome uh, for the informative meeting. Um, so we'll say thank you. Uh, we'll turn it back over to Katie, um, but thanks for coming and, and let me know if you have any questions later on. All right, Katie. Thank you so much, everyone. I'm going to go ahead and um, stop this, this screen share and I'm going to bring mine back up. All right. Well, I just wanted to thank you again so much for joining us. When you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback that you can provide us. Also, this was just, again, one of many sessions being hosted. So please be sure to sign up for additional sessions at moacac.org. In about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all of the other session recordings. Um, and again, that is moacac.org. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a really great rest of your evening. Take care. Bye, y'all. Bye.